this is Mark Cunaberti, financial columnist for a variety of newspapers and host of Money Matters. And today I'm making kind of a different film today. I do films on all sorts of things, things happening around the county, nonprofits, businesses, mostly economic films. Uh, but today I've got a pet peeve that I'm going to solve for you. And it is the soap scum on shower doors, which are impossible to get off. I've had rentals all the way back to 1980, and I have, like many of you, tried to fight these things. Uh, the hard water stains, soap stains on old glass or old uh, shower doors, and uh, yeah, I even looked on the web and they all have the old remedies. They use Barkeeper's Friend, or they use Comet, or they use, big one that I've seen is Dawn dishwasher soap and vinegar or lemon juice. None of them work. I've tried it. I've got some windows here I'm going to show you that I've tried it on, but I have found the million dollar answer to this problem, and I'm going to show you what it is in today's short video. Uh, the YouTube channel is Mark Cunaberti, so if you'd like, you can join that and see videos on all sorts of things, but today we're going to solve the mystery to get these glass doors and windows looking brand new. Now, I will give you a warning. Don't use this on plastic, okay? But this will solve your problem and make it look brand new. I swear, this is the, this is the solution. I couldn't find it anywhere on the web. I may be the only person that's found it. So now I'm gonna share it with you. Here we go. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about, right? This type of stuff. Now the light in back doesn't really do it justice on how bad this is, but this has been here for years. And uh, we have a really bad white window there and these hard water stains, as you guys all know, they just don't come out, I'm telling you. Okay, and just to let you know, this is an outside window to a shower on my daughter's shower. And uh, you know, you're all familiar with that, right? And this is the inside of this, uh, soap scum it's just you know sweet when the doors were new i told her to to um, squeegee everything but uh she never did so uh, you know she's 16 now and there there they are they're just terrible all right now watch this i'll show you okay so this is the bottom of my shower door and you can see that it's opaque and covered with all this stuff you know and I've got lemon juice, it just doesn't take it up. Now watch what happens as I go up here. You will see that this glass up here looks almost brand new. See the difference? Eh? How did Mark do that? Now over here, you'll see this glass looks almost brand new. That one was halfway done. And now I'm going to show you how we do it. Check this out. Okay, so this white stuff that is on all your shower doors and on a lot of the windows that just sit there is a buildup of soap and hard water stains. And like I said, lemon juice or none of that stuff will, will take it off. But I have found the solution that I couldn't find anywhere on the web. I swear to you, this is the solution. Okay, so I have this magic uh, stuff right here. It's not the solution, okay? You could put water, whatever you want in there. But the reason this is foamy is because we take this magic block here, okay? And you start rubbing, okay? Now you'll see this starts to foam up like this, right? And the reason it's foaming up in there is because it's scraping off and starting to liquefy the old soap that's been on there for like 30 years, right? So, this uh, it's a nice flat piece of magic stuff. I'll show you what it is. Probably, I already know what it is, but see, with it being square like that, you can get it down the windows, and you basically scrub the hell out of it, okay? It doesn't scratch it, okay? I make no warranty as to scratching uh, any sort of uh, uh, glass or uh, coating, but I have not found it to scratch anything that I've been doing this on. But again, you don't do this on plastic. So we want to, it's a square piece that allows us to 
to uh, get all the corners like this, right? You see all that? See how it all solidifies up here? And you get soapy stuff, okay? That soap is not coming from anything I put in the water. That soap is coming from what's on the window. All right, so I'm gonna scrub this for a while, okay? This is the window that I'm scrubbing. It does stick on here. And this is my shower, and then I'm gonna do my door, and then I'm gonna do my daughter's window, okay? So I'm gonna scrub for a while, and I'll show you. And you get the corners, the square piece, just like that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've been scrubbing for about, uh, about 10 minutes. You gotta really scrub, okay? And now, we're gonna go over to my daughter's window, which is really white, and we'll let that just stand for a while. Not that we have to, but uh, we will. You can use, if you want, uh, on this particular, uh, Thing that I'm using, you can put uh, vinegar and uh, and whatever else you want to put on the lemon juice, but I haven't found it makes any difference. But uh, so that's just water. Okay, let's go over and do the window at my daughter's uh, bathroom. Okay, so we're gonna do that left window down there, right up there. We're gonna do that lower part, and then we're also gonna do. See these two shower doors are pretty grody. And we've tried to get them clean before, okay? So we're gonna do that. And the way we do that, so we start once again with our magic thing. I'm gonna show you what it is. So here we go. And we'll kind of make a little dot here so you guys can all see. Just start away. We'll also throw over here so we can get another spot there. Okay. And then I'm going to work down here on this stuff here for you. Alright? Okay. So we'll do that. Okay. So we scoured one area there, one area there white window and all that stuff is still on. So now let's go over and check out my window. Okay, so the solution's been on there and let's take it off and see what we got here. Well, this was about eight minutes worth of scrubbing. Now realize, I have a wash outside of this window, just the inside, because it's three stories up. Remember all that white stuff we had on there? Do you remember the stuff that Dawn and Vinegar couldn't take off? Nobody on the internet could tell me how to take it off. Well, guess what? <laughs> eh? I've been trying to get that soap scum off for 20 years. I've been here 20 years. And even the previous owner left it up there. I could never get it off. And I just did. Let's go over and check out my daughter's bath. Okay, so this is my daughter's window. I haven't been the outside yet. So I can then see if we can take a little Windex and get all that out of stuff off here. That's pretty gross, would And as you can see <coughs> that we have now still a little cloudy from the outside, but you can see all that white stuff is completely gone. And you can tell because you can you don't hear the abrasion from the uh, from the stuff on the inside that abrades the towel. Now, if I can, maybe I can get to the outside of this thing as well. Get that a little clean. Let's see what I can. I can't reach it. Yeah. All that white 
that stuff we were looking at, as you can see, is gone the way of the dodo. That down there is on the outside. Now you could keep after it if you've had some other spots that are a little white. But as you can see there, um, it is gone. And that is just amazing. Let's work on these two little spots and see if you can see a difference there, okay? All right, so these are where these other two spots are. See? This spot here, this one here, and take the top off there. You can see the same sort of clear quality in that little circle that I was working on. You can see, so I tried Dawn and I tried Lemon Juice and I tried. Cleanser and I try bartender's friend, do whatever they call it, call it, and it doesn't work. But this works. I'm just throwing it on the counter. Imagine that we use, you have that already in your house. I could charge you for it, but no. This, my friends, is just a pump stone. That's all that is. Regular pump stone. Now, as soon as you put it on the glass, it starts to flatten out, as you saw. See, look at that. Look at that. Okay. See the All this stuff over here, and then this glass here. This glass is looking at this glass here, and it's still almost crystal clear. Where before, you could barely see through it. Okay. So this is pumice stone, flat pumice stone, pumice stone truck, and it flattens out really nice, so it'll actually stick on the glass. And this is just water. Uh, you could use, I've tried vinegar and lemon juice in here. It didn't seem to make much difference. It made a little foam if you put a little dawn in here. It stuck on there a little bit more. But uh, uh, the main ingredient was a little elbow grease. And don't use it on plastic. And don't use it on brass because it's made. But uh, try the channel. Under Mark Cooper on YouTube. All right, I'll be seeing you. Go clean your bathroom.